तो एपीआई टेस्टिंग इज इम्पोर्टेंट गाइज एंड राइट नाउ इफ यू इफ यू नो दैट मिलियंस ऑफ एप्लीकेशन राइट नाउ आर यूजिंग बिहाइंड द सीन ए पी आई राइट इफ यू नो फेसबुक इंस्टाग्राम एंड ऑल ऑफ दैम मोस्ट ऑफ दैम आर मेकिंग मिलियंस ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट थ्रू ए पी आई राइट एंड टू किक स्टार्ट योर ए पी आई जर्नी वे रिक्वायर ए सर्टन टूल राइट सो पोस्टमैन इज वन ऑफ द टूल एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन टारगेट वट इज न्यू इन दी पोस्टमैन एट एंड वी कैन सी सम रिलीज नोट्स एंड सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट फीचर्स दैट आर basically added to the postman and we're gonna i'm gonna show you uh, i'm gonna show you a demo also practical demo stick to the end all right so let's get started all right guys so just a disclaimer guys uh my videos sounds better when you play them at 1.5x all right so let's get started all right so first of all uh postman is basically it's a noted tool for api testing it's just basically a suite which basically allow you to have develop your apis right so uh we as a tester we can use or basically verify our apis by using postman's right so uh why why to use postman because postman provide you like different http methods whenever we are testing a rest api especially or you can test uh, soap also right uh, it provides a certain base or certain features which can help you to automate as well as test your apis all right so let's see what are the different feature that uh, that are included and if you are new to this postman tool i will highly recommend to watch my 30 days of api testing with postman series where we have started uh, from scratch even as a uh, even as a beginner and we have basically uh, learned the advanced concept in postman also all right okay so the first feature that they have included is universal navigation right so what is new universal navigation if you see Uh, let me make myself little smaller right uh, if you see whenever you launch with the postman you will see this thing and we right now i am at the release notes of the postman so you can go through this link and uh, you can see that and let's do one thing so i have uh, updated postman so i'm going to open it right now in front of you and uh, universal navigation basically uh, it's a kind of a home page that you see most of the time right so right now if you see my postman is uh, opening and here if you click on this home button right you will see this uh, universal navigation where uh, you can getting you can get started with postman you can start with something you can import something explore the public networks you can work smarter right uh, so let's uh, jump one by one you have workspaces right so workspaces uh, now they have moved their tab to here home we have no we no right we have seen so workspaces which is very important thing guys uh, where workspace workspace is basically nothing but uh you can say a different sandbox environment where you can keep your different different uh, api request or your apis right while you are developing it testing it whenever it for example uh whenever i am working with testing uh, academy project for example i am teaching you guys right i keep most of my uh, collections here in this uh this is uh, for certain company this is for just test testing purpose right so these are different workspaces and if you load them you will see a different uh, collections different api environments different mock servers all the things right these are totally different if you see right now if you go to the uh, testing academy you will see that uh, i have like automated jira other froze and all the things okay so that makes sense right so that's uh, what they have done now if you see they have added reports basically uh, if you click on it it will basically log in to your uh, official uh, id of the postman where you will be get for example some whenever you create a new account in postman they will give you a unique id which is very uh, something like this and now you can create your uh, basically if you have any kind of a enterprise plan or a higher plan you can create your reports like uh, how many uh, uh you can track all your teams apis right you can measure the performance or you can fail test cases you can see the average response so it's a kind of a paid feature right now they have included right so quickly let's jump to the explore which is very important uh, explore is something which i thought uh, which is missing from postman like long back which basically means that uh, you have different apis available for example twitter api is available facebook api twilio uh, strapi and like microsoft graph uh, apis are different apis are available right so why not you can directly import them into the postman rather than going to that api making individual request and creating a collection so right now they have offered it you can directly uh, import them for example if you have uh, let me see right yeah so if you clicked on it if you, you will see that it's basically added as uh, it's right now not added i think it's just uh, showing me that uh, you can see all the apis in the collection they have pre made for you right and that's what which, which is very helpful 
I think. So you can explore the API which are required for the, you can, uh, for example, you are testing a TVLU app, right? It's a SMS or something like this application. You can directly click on it. Uh, you can basically see the different APIs, like getting started there, find it, find one, uh, buy phone number, sending SMS and list all. So you can directly see them, like what is authorization, headers, how, what is the body that they're adding and what are the different tests they have added. Okay. So they have added a PM visualizer, which I think it's advanced, which is very important. All right. Universal search, which basically uh, here you will see search option. If you have something, for example, API you want to search, you can see uh, in different, uh, you can see search in, in workspaces, different, all the workspaces collections, which is important. And for example, RO search right now, I can directly jump into it. And this is one of the things that you can jump directly, right? Uh, unified interface web and native now. So, uh, this is one of the important thing. Let me move back to my testing one. And, uh, if you see, uh, right now postman application also now is also available as a web application directly where you can see the, uh, universal interface. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So if you go here, universal search, they have discussed about it. So, uh, Right now, you see they have pan, they have introduced pan, they have introduced sidebars, context bars, right? Which are somewhat important, right? I think. And uh, let me check. Give me one second. All right. So if you open your ID, for example, this is my ID and postman.gov slash workspace. And this is the testing academy that workspace that I've opened. Now you will see that the similar, right? So uh, if you see right now, what uh, we are, whenever we are talking about this unified interface, native versus web is basically means uh, you can see that uh, I can uh, very much similar UI is available in the web also right now. So very similar uh, kind of a view is also available in the native app. So they have basically unified it and make it very, very similar to the uh, web application as well as the native application that right now you are yeah, right now you can you are using okay so that's what the important feature you can see the panels and context bar which are of course important so right now uh, whenever we do if you want to see the documentation directly if you want to see the comments you can comment it out you can see the code for example export as code right there was a button here right now they have added uh, in a context sidebar now you can also export it here so very, uh, very, very small changes, I would say, but, uh, that UI right now, they have changed it very, very, uh, I would say it's very, it looks very good in this case. So quickly, I'm going to show you one thing, which basically how you can create your new collection. So again, it's a very similar, you can create your new collection, for example, request RS dot in that, that generally we create, you can add prescript test and variables. Everything is similar. Nothing, uh, nothing major changes. Uh, I think. The major changes are only through UIs, not through the functionality. They are still sim similar. If you want to add, you can directly add the request. For example, let's do one thing. Let's quickly add a get request, right? Uh, let me go through. So, okay. So this is the get request. You can open it right now, right? And let's make that get request. Okay. So headers are automatically added and this is the request. You can save it again, say, say send and download okay i don't want to download it's where it is safe okay save is now here so this is these are very very small things that they have done so you can save as of course i want to save as i want to save here this is my get request right and now similar similar thing right so similarly you can do it for post right so let's do it for post you require this url so require uh now let's do oh okay so this button is only creating for the collections so they have Add it here. Yeah, now let's do add request. Okay, this is my URL. This is PLB a post request. And I want to make the this is the body. Okay. And I want to send raw. Let's make it a JSON and let's quickly send everything up. Great. Save as save as to request in post request. Post. Okay. Cool. Makes sense. No, it's very similar. And uh, so major features are universal notification workspaces. They have added reports explore, which is important. Universal search where you can search for every uh, API that you have worked in the workspace. Okay. All right. I have showed you demo also. So thanks a lot, guys. I hope uh, you have learned something new in the what is exactly in the new Postman 8. And you can go to the release notes and you can read more about it. So right now they have added 8.2.2, which is mostly bug fixes and couple of uh, improvements, minor improvements. So no need to worry. All right. 
Thanks a lot. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and make sure you like the video, guys. Share with your friends because we are learning, and I hope you will learn a lot. Right? Thanks a lot and have a nice day. Bye.